We have two whales and baleen whales. Now two whales, well they obviously have teeth, one blowhole and ex excellent echolocation. And then you have the baleen whales. You have uh, uh, which most people think of when they say whale, which would be the baleen whales. They have baleen plates on the upper jaw. They are filter feeders. And they have two blowholes on their uh, top of their head there. So a few little different things here. Now, toothed whales are the most numerous out of all the whales. The cetacean group is what it's called. If you look around guys, you might see a little dolphin swimming next to a larger dolphin. That's a cow-calf pair or a baby dolphin and his mom. The baby dolphin will ride the right next to the larger dolphin to uh, harness the uh, slipstream or the energy of the dolphin being, uh, not moving through the water here. Which allows them to uh, get a little bit of a free ride, kind of conserve energy to keep up with the mom dolphin. So oh, this is awesome, all around the boat, wow, amazing. You can see how friendly they are coming right along the boat right next to us. So a little bit more about the toothed whales here. Uh, the largest of the toothed whales would be Moby Dick or the sperm whale. It gets up to 60 feet long. And then you have the orca or the shamu killer whale. It's about 33 feet long. And so on and so forth. And you get down to these guys, the common dolphin, which are some of the smallest. About six and a half feet to 200 pounds. The males are the largest. They eat all sorts of fin fish anchovy, sardine, mackerel, and swift. 